Okay, people, check it out. That's my town. That's London, baby. Can you see that tall, pointy building? That's the Shard. That's like London's tallest and most recognizable landmark nowadays. You see Tower Bridge there and London Bridge in the foreground. And you can make out the, the Gherkin, the egg-shaped building, and there's St. Paul's. And as we pan around, you see the River Thames and uh, I think you see the Battersea Power Station. And also, come on, pan, pan camera. And you should be able to see London Eye once there it is, London Eye, the big Ferris wheel. This is my town, man. This is where I live. London, baby. Yeah, I love London. And this is a beautiful stadium. I think it's a replica of Wem Wembley Stadium. That's in North London. That's where all the gigs take place. And uh, yeah, you come here to listen to great music and live performances. But I didn't get to enjoy any of that because of this lag switching bitch here. Yeah. And uh, this guy, uh, Raz Daba, uh, Rash Dabash, I believe his name is. I'm going to put his gamer tag in the description so you guys can report him. Make sure he doesn't ever get to play this game again. And uh, as you'll see why in a minute. So yeah, it was, I'm just having a normal game on uh, Kill Confirmed at night time. I love playing Kill Confirmed at night. And uh, your boy Monkey Bomb Man decides to set up a shop in this long narrow corridor. You know, I never used to like this map, but I'm slowly getting used to this map and I'm quite enjoying myself. This this corridor is mine. So I normally occupy this area and make sure that no one comes in. Yeah, so I'm enjoying myself, I'm enjoying myself setting up my sentry gun shops. And uh, your boy Monkey Bomb Man's pleasant evening is about to get ruined. Ruined by a lag switching bitch. And there's nothing I can do about it. See, he just froze me there. Um, as I got up from prone, I couldn't move. And he's going to be in this room. As I check out, I can see his claymore. So I throw in my EMP. As you do. And as I enter the room, watch this, watch this. Look at that. Look at that. What chance do I stand, people? I don't stand a chance in hell. Uh, so I get mad and uh, the reason why you see there's a delay in me respawning because I had to watch the kill cam. I had to see what the fuck was going on there. Machine spinning and, uh, up. I'm about to enter the room again. I know I'm not going to win a gunfight with a lag switcher but I want to record it. So I just go in just to let him do it to me again. And there he is. He freezes me. I turn around. There's nothing I can do. I couldn't move. And uh, <laughs> after this clip you'll see what happens to me. I'm going to flip over and you'll be able to see his point of view. Rash Dabash's point of view. I mean honestly, um, when this happened to me I was more amused rather than upset. I wasn't really angry, I was just like confused as to why people would play this this way, you know? I mean there's loads of great games out there, you know, there's The Last of Us, which I hear is a great game, and uh, you know, there's there's loads of great games out there, you know, and uh, why are you going to play this game, which is 10 months old, and cheat? Um, you don't gain anything from it, man. I just don't understand people's mentality. If you're going to play a game, play it fair and square, man. You know, there's a certain satisfaction to beating people fair and square, knowing that you've outmatched them, and out uh, maneuvered them. Uh, you know that you've strategically beat them in a in a game of wits, and that, that that's what I derive uh, satisfaction from. Not cheating, uh, absolutely n glitches and all that. I have no time for that bullshit. Um, the, one of the best glitches ever was the monkey bomb glitch in uh, on Kino de Toten back in Black Ops One. Every time you threw a grenade down, you could pick up a monkey bomb. I mean that was quite a cool glitch, but apart from that. Um, <laughs> glitches are no fun man, that's not how you play a game and likewise boosting is no fun and playing a game like this lag switching people, controlling people's internet connection so that you can shoot them, I mean what the fuck, oh, watch this, watch this oh my god and uh, yeah I'm gonna put Legend of Thunder's uh, Twitter ID, I'm gonna put his name on this title so that he gets to see this because my channel is really... Look, watch, watch. 
Watch this. He freezes me. As I come up from prone, he freezes me. I couldn't even move. There you go. And then we can come back into this room and get him. And uh, so this is his point of view. Yeah, I'm going to put Legend of Thunder's name in this uh, title so that he gets a chance to see it because my channel is relatively small and uh, I don't have uh, the viewer base to actually get this guy banned. But uh, Legend of Trump Thunder, yeah, he gets millions of views. So um, if he sees this, believe me, and he feels very strongly about uh, lag switching cheats. And uh, believe me, he, he will he will get you guys, he will share this video. It will get out and this guy will be banned. Uh, Rash to bash. Um, hopefully console banned because if you just ban his account, he's just going to create another account. It's easily done. You could do... You can create another account within minutes. Within five minutes you can have a, n a new one. And uh, that's not good enough. You need to console ban this guy and that will inconvenience him a lot more. And uh, it will at least stop him. But people like these uh, these guys here, these hackers and uh, whatever you call them, and these lag switchers, they take a certain pride in what they do. So if you do uh, <laughs> ban them, they'll just simply become more stubborn and they'll come back and back and back. So uh, there's absolutely no way you can stop this. I think Von der Haar is too busy with, with, with his... L, um, what do you call it? M, G, L, um, tournament plays, league plays, whatever you call it. I don't think he has time or even cares about fixing these kind of things because Black Ops 2 has had quite a few patches over the months, and uh, you know this kind of stuff is still going on. So I'm not too sure they even care about this. But uh, I, I'll record this video. I'll upload it for the community to see. And uh, who knows, you know, maybe Treyarch will see this and they'll do something about it. But uh, yeah, so it's your boy Monkey Bomb Man and I'm out. Till next time. Hello everyone, welcome back to Monkey Bomb Man TV. Now we're gonna play, let's play Super Mario All-Stars.